about a week ago, I decided that it was time for me to create a course. I had wanted to make a course for about like two months and I was just, I just kept pushing it off over and over because I kept telling myself that I didn't have enough time in the day. I currently in school, I have eight periods, eight different classes that I'm taking throughout the day and it's kind of strenuous and it's hard to find time for it. And about a week ago, I realized that there were these different instances, these different bouts of nothing being done. Maybe I was on Spotify looking for the next song to play. Maybe I was with friends, you know, not exactly doing anything with them, but just like talking to them. I was scrolling on YouTube for advice or different video ideas. And every single one of these different bouts started adding up. Some of these bouts even lasted like 30 minutes. They kept adding up. And at the end of the day, I probably had at least an extra two hours two hours to devote to that course that I wanted to create so badly. I want you to do that exact exercise that I just did, okay? I want you to look back on your day today. If it's the beginning of the day today, look back on yesterday and think about all the different times that you wasted your time. Now, it's probably going to be difficult to look at these things because the truth is, is that in these moments, you are most likely in a subconscious state and subconscious states are far more difficult to remember than conscious states. If that doesn't make sense to you, that's completely fine. Just try and realize that these dopamine activities, dopamine inducing activities, all the different times when you're not productive, they're harder to remember, okay? So look back on your day and whether it takes like 10 seconds or a minute, I want you to look back on your day and realize all the instances when you were not productive. And you, you know, you can pause the video whenever you want. Are you, after looking back on your day, how long do you think this span of time is? Because I guarantee that it's much longer than you think. When you look at your screen time, that might just be all the information that you need. When you do the calculations, you know, I used to do this exercise where I had my entire week hours and I did all the, and I added up the hours of every single necessary thing that I had to do. And when I added up the the hours of every single thing that I had to do, I had like 48 hours, an entire two days of work in place for me that I didn't even realize. All that time was spent doing something else other than the things that I knew that I needed to do. And that was a really enlightening experience for me. And I guarantee that it's far more hours than you'd expect if you actually did that exercise. So if you if you have already looked back on your day. Congratulations. You actually took action with this video. I'm very proud of you. If you haven't do it, the rest of the video won't do anything for you if you haven't. After you've looked back on your day, now you know that these different bouts of time are no good for you. What do you do to counteract this? Because most of us just remove them and then we don't know what to do. I want you to create something that I like to call a safety net habit. A safety net habit. It was taken by someone that I used to know. His name was Leon and he created something called a safety net habit, right? And it was, it's essentially a habit where when you're in your room, when you're lying on your bed thinking of something to do, when you really want to reach for your phone because you're so bored, when you really want to reach for a drug when you're super bored or you want to go into the bathroom, you know what I mean? When you're super bored, you create something called a safety net habit. And what these safety net habits are, are the habits that we do when we don't have anything else to do. And you can create an entire list of these habits. For the best, best results, I mean, one of my clients do this and it literally changed him. For best results, you want to write this down, every single safety net habit that you can think of. Walk, meditation, work, school work, cold shower, or just sitting and thinking and contemplating about life, all these different things. You write them all down on a slip of paper. And when you don't have anything to do and you really feel like reaching for your phone, you, you revert to this list and you check it and you're like, I should do this right now. I can do this right now. That's exactly how you increase your productivity. You can in increase it by 10x easily, easily. Yes, the different habits that you add in do help for sure, like removing caffeine, participating in, you know, not going in the bathroom anymore, meditation, 
there's so many different things, but the very first thing that you should do, the thing that will actually give you the greatest amount of results is removing the vices that you turn to when you have nothing else to do and instead working on things that you know that you should work on. Do you understand that? So these different bouts, they turn into bouts of productivity. They do not turn into bouts of relapses, of, of bad things, of getting zero work done. They turn into these productive different things throughout the day and those add up, just like the bad ones, into something larger and those really make up your entire day. So if you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hopefully I can help you on that journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.